some uh, pure algebraic object uh, structure which appeared quite recently. It's called uh, stability structure in in triangulated category. I'll say a few words. In triangulated category. It's due to Tom Bridgeland around quite some time ago, maybe around 2001, something like this. Uh, and it's a very mysterious object, which can be thought as analog of Keller class or Ample class in, uh, for very general framework of triangulated categories. And it uh, has uh, very nice properties, but it's very hard to construct. And I will explain that the best hope is through differential geometry, variation principle, convexity, and all, all this. So the subject close to Jean-Pierre Hart. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so the definition is uh, mm, kind of simple, but uh, uh, for, first of all, I will just remind you what are triangulated categories. Example of triangulated categories is something which is a bit technical. Consider, uh, let's say, bounded coherent sheaves on some um, uh, algebraic variety, and consider complexes of sheaves uh, uh, with compact support. Uh, no, bounded, it means that uh, uh, cohomology only in finitely many degrees, and compact supported cohomology are coherent shifts in uh, this co compact support. Or you can consider modules of some algebra and consider complexes of modules, think like this, and get triangulated category, so, triangulated category C. And to, to say what is a, a stability condition, you need uh, uh, two things. First, you need some kind of uh, churn class for each uh, object of your category should define several numerical invariants. And uh, I'll say that just suppose you get a map to uh, homomorphism to find the joint free abelian group, some coefficients of some uh, components of churn class. And then uh, uh, this, that's you fix once for a while. And then there's something which you can change, which will be kind of like your Keller class. First, you get a map from Zn to C. Ah, so it's eventually you get a map to C from, from K group. And a class of uh, stable objects. Stable object uh, with slope theta. It's just a collection of isomorphism class of objects. S is from stable. And C is real number. Uh, and, and with the following, uh, there are several properties. Uh, if you get stable object, Sorry? Sorry? Q? Zn. Not Q. Not Q. No, no. Z. Zn. Yeah. Like chain classes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just consider uh, index. You multiply your coherent shift by another shift, consider index. Things like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, or you can see the maps to some finitely joint abelian group and kill our torsion. Yeah, so for any stable object, uh, the, uh, mm, if you apply to, first you make chain class and then apply z, you get complex number, it should be non-zero number and with, uh, with argument equal to uh, theta. And then, mm. If you shift by one, the argument uh, will be shifted by pi. And then any object of your category should be decomposed in, simple, in this stable or simple object. For any object f, uh, shift by, uh, change the grading by one, yeah. and then uh, this chain class will change by minus, uh, will be uh, minus this number, and the argument you add pi. And then for any object, there exists a, uh, analog of kind of filtration. Uh, which in triangulated case, we're just a sequence of morphisms. Any morphism, in a sense, is in monomorphisms. So that if you consider quotients, and called EI. Uh, they will belong to CS, C to I, and arguments are mm, decreasing.
So in the case of the coherent, uh, complex uh, coherent shifts, yeah. yeah. It's very complicated to even to in case of coherent shifts. It's it's extremely co hard in high dimensions to construct any example of such guy. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's so slightly related to ke uh, to Keller positivity, but it's a very delicate story. Yeah. So people constructed e uh, in dimension three recently. Uh, but it's a record. I think in dimension four, it's very, very hard, hard to construct such uh, thing. And there are many nice things about the stability conditions that uh, uh, the main theorem of bridging is that if in the appropriate condition, uh, uh, assumptions, if you vary a little bit this central charge Z, you uniquely vary stability conditions. So they form a complex manifold. You form a complex manifold from any category. And manifold with kind of vector space structure. It's, it's cone in a vector space. And, mm. Yeah, so it has many wonderful properties, but as I said, it's, it's very hard to construct them. Yeah, so and there are, uh, I'll explain you kind of two frameworks where we can hope to construct them. And so the first framework is some easy situation when one can construct um, this stability uh, thing. It's kind of quiver like situation. There's really no trouble to uh, make the stability condition, uh, uh, which is, it is the following. Uh, what will be, uh, suppose we get some algebra, associative algebra, let's say over any field. Mm. And, uh, uh, and I assume it's actually finitely generated. And I assume that in this algebra I have a collection of projectors, commuting projectors, so pi squared is equal to pi, so pi is equal to 1, and pi pj is equal to 0 for i non equal to j. Yeah, so essentially one can uh, consider the quiver because one can, um, and if algebra is finitely generated, we can make, choose generators, and algebra will be pass algebra of some quiver, of some quiver, maybe model finitely many relations. Vertices of quiver are laid, labeled from 1 to k. Now, oh, suppose we have su such algebra, but this algebra is, in, uh, and this algebra should be kind of in, in has to some, which will be h0 of some uh, uh, differential graded algebra. And I, I assume that all cohomology of the thing is equal to zero. Uh, so I made some kind of resolution, add something in degree minus one, minus two, and so on. Yeah, so I have uh, this algebra. And uh, then uh, one can immediately construct a category and plenty of stability conditions. What will be the category? In fact, maybe this case should be equal to n. Uh, what is the category? A category it will be, in a sense, GG modules, appropriately localized, over this um, DG algebra, with finite dimensional cohomology, total cohomology. Uh, this form a um, some triangulated category. Uh, the K group, if, if you, uh, the K group of this category C is the same as k group of category of finite dimensional A modules. So this category has something called heart, which is a billion category, which is a representation of this algebra. And which maps to Zn, uh, because if you consider any representation, you consider maps to dimension uh, uh, of finite dimensional, uh, uh, it, it should get such just collection of finite dimensional spaces and look on, on the vector of dimensions. And these dimensions are non-negative if, if you consider orbit representation of this algebra. And uh, mm, now you choose arbitrary any map. Such that base vectors some number zi whose imaginary part is positive. You ch just pick arbitrary numbers in upper half plane, you get a homomorphism, and then uh, all objects in your abelian category 
will be a uh, positive linear combination of some numbers in upper half planes that are in a um, mm, space. And then we define what a stable object, object we do not have subobject with a larger slope. Yeah, so we immediately get uh, uh, such things and consider shifts of such things is called a semi-stable object. Yeah, so we get uh, upper half plane to power n maps to embeds to space of stability of so this category and the chain class. Yeah, so you get a big uh, domain and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one can also, uh, there is a very nice game called tilting. Uh, 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 very often one can uh, make another algebra and which another DG algebra, <coughs> you can make another DG algebra such that uh, this category uh, which gives a category C, C tilde and the category C tilde will be equivalent to category C. So you describe the same category in different algebraic ways and this uh, space of stability conditions is two, two uh, kind of in, um, products of upper half plane will be uh, attached to each other that have common boundaries. So you can go from one to another, you get different algebraic description, but you continue to this uh, algebraic manifold. And how, uh, what to do for tilting, there are kind of left and right tilting. The formula is like this. So this algebra is projectors, so you can see it's kind of DG category with finitely many objects. Uh, this will be just different bag rated components will be homes between different objects. You get some object EI. And suppose uh, you choose some generators, choose generators which are uh, uh, of algebra which called maybe I A alpha, some collection of generators, and assume that uh, arrows in this quiver, and um, A alpha is equal to some projector for some I j depending on alpha. And assume that you get certain object and choose I0 such that uh, there's no generator, there's no uh, generator um, A alpha which is equal to Pi0, A alpha Pi0. So there's no loop at vertex I0. Uh, in this case, one can make a new collection of uh, this DG modules, you just define e EI tilde is equal to EI from I non equal to I0, and EI0 tilde will be kind of two-step complex. You put e EI0 in degree plus one, and you de take direct sum over EI, uh, over all I non equal to I0, and all arrows from I to I0 in, in this quiver. And then consider universal map, yeah, and then very easy check shows that if you consider endomorphism of the direct sum of E i tilde, it gets some again new DG algebra. Uh, this cohomology in in positive degree of this guy is again vanish, and then we can continue the game. Yeah, so there is some kind of uh, combinatorial game if you go from one algebra to another algebra with the same triangulated category, and stabilities are continuing up to another. Okay, so what I explained to you, it's pure algebra, but uh, I already want to start to some differential geometry. And now, to start differential geometry, you should go to, from arbitrary field, let's say field is complex numbers. And then uh, one can describe what are stable objects in a completely different way, without just going to axiomatics and so on. What, extend, what not stable object, but what's called polystable objects, which are direct sum of stable object with the same slope, of slope theta. And uh, the description is uh, the following. It's it will be unitary classes of uh, kind of representations, of star representation of the following thing. You, uh, so you consider um, uh, pi uh, uh, you, you, you consider representation of your algebra in finite dimensional Hilbert space. Representation of algebra. Of oh, the same algebra. Ah, yeah, yeah. Representation of algebra in finite dimensional Hilbert space. Okay. 
case, uh, let's call it you know, V, so that proje uh, each projector is orthogonal, so it's a direct sum, and then the, fo the following condition holds. Uh, I remember I, ch uh, I choose some uh, generators. I consider sum of commutators A hat by hat, get some self adjoint operator, and then should be equal to imaginary part exponent minus square root minus one theta. Uh, uh, zi, we are, zi minus my these complex numbers, times projectors. And so take some from one, one to n. Yeah, so that's the equation, uh, actually this Alistair King uh, discovered it many years ago. It's, uh, and uh, where it comes from, it's come from uh, the relation with geometric invariance theory. Uh, the stable object, I say, it's exactly the same stable things in terms of Mumford theory of geometric invariance, and then you get the Hamiltonian reduction and you get this thing. And this is actually very uh, beautiful. You know, in fact, it will be co a complex analytic vari algebraic variety, maybe singular, uh, the space of such uh, equivalence classes. It will be coarse modular space. Uh, and, uh, but we describe in kind of terms of uh, Hermitian geometry, and it will carry certain Keller metric. And if you, uh, if you choose different generators, you get different Keller metric on the same manifold. Yeah, so this choice of generators can be thought as choice of non-commutative Keller metric. It gives you Keller metric on all modular spaces simultaneously. And uh, uh, yeah, this is a very interesting question here is that uh, this thing you can sort uh, of as a representation of some star algebra. You consider formally complex Hermitian conjugate variables. And you see that uh, you get different C star algebras associated to, to your associative algebra. And they have the same representation theory. So it means the CC star algebra, it, maybe it's a finite dimension of the representation theory, but it's maybe some certain completion should be equivalent. It would be very nice to have canonical C star algebra associated to associative algebra, yeah. But, uh, but it's one thing. And, and you see that we get some kind of differential geometry here. OK, that's uh, one thing, it's, but it's a uh, uh, very simple st story applied to this quiver, and it's very far from situ uh, um, situation of interest, like coherent shifts and so on. Uh, uh, in fact, it's, uh, it has something to do with coherent shifts. Mm, mm, those kind of remark. Uh, I explained everything about finite dimensional representation, but one can try to formally do infinite dimensional representations. And let's take algebra, it will be just, let's say, polynomials in. Uh, in d variables. Maxim, excuse me. In some sort of moduli space, as a crew, as an example, would we? Yeah, one can, yeah, in, in some, for instance, you can get the same description. Yeah, for a actually, I can run through this. Yeah. yeah. But now let's consider algebra of polynomials. And module will be A or ideal finite co dimension. Kind of functions vanishing with some multiplicity at some points which is not vector bundle, it's coherent shifts. But the claim one can write this equation in certain sense. Uh, uh, your projector will be only one, just identity. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so you can formally write the things. And you write equation, uh, the generators it will be, actually this is my uh, A alpha, will be generator of this algebra. And if you write equation, so you get some unbounded operator in Hilbert space. And you write this equation is equal to uh, let's say. Well, you you will always find dimensional deep space, why? No, no, now it's infinite dimensional. And now it's infinite. Yeah, yeah, you kind of maybe can imagine kind of uh, uh, complete the space of function with kernel exponent minus the square. Uh, this, uh, you, you can see the like, entire functions on uh, with appropriate growth. Mm. And you take times d of times identity. You write this equation. Uh, and it has some solution. Uh, for example, if you go to one uh, case of one variable, uh, you can s consider uh, this just polynomial variable, just labeled by one, zero, one, two, three, and then you get uh, annihilation and uh, creation operator whose commutator is one. Yeah, so you consider uh, x n squared will be n factorial, and consider multiplication by x and are joined, you get. Uh, exactly representation of the algebra commutator will be exactly one. And then one can uh, ask the question how to regularize it at infinity. You say that 
good behavior to infinity will be such as commutator of x a hat x j will be identity operator plus some kind of small kind of trace one, trace class, or whatever. Uh, yeah, consider something at which infinity looks like uh, an, um, identity. And uh, uh, then uh, actually it was Nikita Nikrasov who invented these things about 10 years ago. The, uh, the, the big conjecture is that if you consider, I, uh, for example, shift of ideals of finitely many points, it will be stable object because it couldn't have really good subbundles, should have canonical pre-Hilbert pre structure when you get this equation. Mathematicians never studied it. It's a very difficult question. And, it's, uh, and then if you can go to some limit, you put some uh, constant here and go to the limit, then you get to the limit, you get a Young-Mills equation, of uh, Hermitian Young-Mills equation of Donaldson. But uh, now if you have advantages, it works for coherent shifts, not for vector bundles. And uh, uh, that uh, should be right point of view on mm, relation with uh, coherent geometry. OK, that's uh, uh, one word. And, but uh, there was, there is, uh, physics suggest, uh, suggests co something completely different. Uh, all this uh, axiomatic bridging come from uh, Mike Douglas and uh, eventually from mirror symmetry. But, um, uh, uh, physics suggests a completely different class of examples, not the squivers. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, let me say, maybe I should remove. Sir? Bring it down. Yeah, maybe I just. Yeah, what is the second framework? <coughs> it's actually from uh, conform field theory. And, uh, it's about deep brains. Uh, um, so you start with uh, Kalabi Yao variety. Uh, it has, uh, uh, it's of arbitrary dimension. Uh, it has Keller form and it has a top degree uh, holomorphic form and satisfying. It could be non, not necessarily compact. Uh, then uh, the category which you associate to it is actually is a, is a, is a category not over complex numbers but over formal power series in one uh, variable. Kind of, uh, uh, it's category which depends on parameter, one can think. It's not one category. And, uh, and this is called Foucault category, uh, mm, which is consists of some Lagrangian uh, objects. Are, now, maybe I'll give you just this definition. We'll say what are morphis, uh, morphisms, what, are, what is it? But what will be stable objects? And the conjecture kind of uh, central conjecture in the subject that this category has very canonical stability conditions. It will be the main source of stability condition from geometry. Uh, this category, this C has canonical stability condition. Yeah, the object of this category, it's, it's very complicated things. So one should solve some abstraction theory, but one can consider kind of limiting object when t goes to zero. zero. Limit limits as t goes to zero of stable objects are the following creatures. Uh, I'll just explain you this, this answer. Uh, first of all. Uh, 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 objects are, um, it's, uh, it's a pair L rho. Uh, L is, uh, let's say, oriented, yeah, so fix theta. And what it says that it's theta stable object. It's oriented Lagrangian 
uh, subvariety, I don't say it's submanifold. It's actually could be singular with singularities in co-dimension two. And X is symplectic. X is symplectic. Yes, X is a symplectic manifold. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a Calabria. It's, it's a symplectic manifold. It's pure real object. Uh, then, uh, well, A, a has singular, what kind of singularities? Like what kind of singularities? Nobody knows, but I expect that uh, I'll put some, some kind of conditions. Yeah, there is a reason that you're saying that using singularity in the ground and you kill with the whole theory. No, 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 no. Here it's absolutely essential to have singularities. It's <laughs> yeah, but it's a special kind. A special kind, yeah. No, 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 not, uh, not any singularity, yeah. Yeah, but um, I think here, actually, I don't have to specify. Uh, I will say I didn't finish the, the description. Yeah, uh, uh, so there are several things here. First, first of all, uh, this X L is uh, compact, yeah. Uh, L is um, mm, uh, special of slope theta. What does it mean? It means that if you restrict this uh, D0 form uh, to L. Uh, yeah, calibrated, yeah. Two kind of L minus singularities, outside of singularities, uh, then, uh, the, then it will be, uh, belongs to, again, argument of the thing will be. All, uh, all, uh, T is parameter of your stability, yeah? Yeah, T is the parameter of stability, yeah. Times uh, some positive density. But won't it, I mean, if it's special Lagrangian, it's going to be calibrated so it's absolutely minimizing locally, so the singularities are always cogent at least two. Yeah, co-dimensional at least two, yeah. By yes, yes, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, this singularity can appear for the singular Lagrangians. It's yeah, it's very special singularity, definitely, yeah. And uh, rho is, uh, irreducible representation of fundamental group of the L minus singularities to some uh, J, L, and C of local system. Uh, uh, such a determinant of this uh, thing is belongs to U1. And the uh, last thing which is very mysterious, L is spin. Yeah. Which is come from uh, uh, some question about orientability in Foucault category, and but I think it's actually m means it should have some Dirk, Dirk operator should play some role, but nobody knows how to do it. And uh, uh, the right cl homology class it's actually not homology but class in K theory because it's been manifold. Yeah, uh, and uh, Z of L will be integral will be uh, rank of the uh, local system multiplied by integral of this D0 form, which will be. But you claim they always exist. Sorry? You claim they such objects exist. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, In definition, but they may not exist. Maybe. Th then will be, n n OK, but uh, then the category will be 0. Yeah, no, the claim that this, this form is exactly the list of stable objects. Mm. So you forgot a category in the field, they are there. Yeah, yeah. And if, if we believe in mirror symmetry, the Foucault category is equal to coherent shifts on some other varieties, that will be, uh, the category is very non-trivial. Uh, there are very few examples when you take the size of it. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's... Uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, mirror symmetry, the hmm? stability condition on one side corresponds to stability? Of course, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it should be the kind of the only feasible way to construct stability condition on, on this category of coherent shifts, yeah, at the end of the day. Uh, uh, yeah, but here, uh, of course, we say that it's Calabio variety. I think this Calabio, it's, it's too strong, con uh, too uh, rigid condition. What one really need? One need uh, one one form for Foucault category, definitely. But omega and zero, one can replace by uh, complex valued closed n form, closed d form of middle degree. With some non-degenerate conditions should be kind of not should not vanish on all la real Lagrangian subspace, and it's very soft condition uh, which should. So the uh, real now. now everything is real. Yeah, but form is complex valued. I complex valued, but you, see, you can't forget complex structure. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't have uh, complex structures. That that will be uh, uh, because the picture that one should kind of minimize some. One can put the same condition for non-necessary complex form. Just forget about remaining metric. 
No, but then you will no meaning of special Lagrangian. No, no, no. It means that this uh, thing is equal to. Uh, no, but the equilibration property will be different. Be no, 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 no. The story is the following. It will be still the same story because one can always integrate. No, 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 no. There will be no metric. There will be no metric on the space. It will, but you, you get a formula that's it's just called omega's form, and you can always integrate absolute value of omega over the Lagrangian manifold. You get, and you call it area, and this area minimizing will be special Lagrangian. Just because this, it will be kind of uh, sum of complex numbers with different slopes and by triangle inequality. Yeah, so it's without metric, but one can also write kind of area functional and minimizing, and this thing will be minimizing this area functional. Okay. Because I believe in this region or dimension, the only, the only possibility for this. <coughs> no, if you if you start with the Riemannian metric, but if you measure uh, uh, area of things by some different means, not by Riemannian metric, but something else. Yes, yes, absolutely. No, exactly this definition. Consider form which is not vanishing on any. But so still we can point to the kind of variable structure. Yes, we still minimize which is not area, but still point to function. Yeah, point to functions which looks essentially like area plus. Yeah. Yeah. And yet we absolutely minimizing because of this form. Yes, I took the right example. Yeah, of course, you just vary a little, vary a little bit here. Yeah. 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 No, except you see that the equation maybe you have never solvable. The equation, there are solutions. Kind of yeah, but you don't have to. So, yeah, the, but the, the claim that it's uh, uh, this re uh, explicit representative. It's not re relative. Like like Kellen matrix, you can change for in uh, geometry the heap, the same sta stable bundles. Like explained for quivers, you get different equations that give the same solutions. And here should be the same picture that you change a little bit. Omega, so you get different equations. Uh, no, it, it may be no solution. Typically, you don't have no solution. No, 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 no. It's el it's elliptic equation. It's of index zero. It's it's completely. Uh, uh, the reasons. So of one minimizing and one being calibrated. No, no, calib no calibrated for a Lagrangian manifold has index zero. Uh, the reason is the following: because if you have Lagrangian manifold, and now the form is by exact Hamiltonian transformation, so the form at L plus graph of differential of some function. Uh, so it, what to consider, consider functions on L model a constant, which will be a uh, deformation space. And what you, see, what you have, you get a, a argument of the things, and argument should be constant. Argument is a function, again, with average value equal to zero. So you get a map from space of one dimension to the space of the same dimension. So it really index zero is this equation for, for being calibrated. If you consider deformation, in, and even you get a, f a large families because you consider non if it's not one connected, then consider uh, uh, first homology, then consider non exact deformation. So you get really modular spaces of such things. And yeah, and um, and it's very important to put this uh, local system uh, uh, the all together. This modular space of this uh, maybe could not reducible, but poly uh, direct sum of reducible of such t type. The, the claim that the modular space of such things will be compact. Uh, uh, what, uh, one can imagine some kind of compactness for minimal manifolds, but now what's about local system? Local system can depend parameter and go to infinity. But uh, in fact, secretly, if you get a local system, you can always have, because it's reducible, can have harmo her uh, harmonic metric on the, on the system. You get canonical, uh, suppose it's Calabi, you have harmonic metric. And uh, then when harmonic metric, uh, when a uh, local system goes to infinity, then harmonic metric will be very, very fast. And then you get kind of real Higgs field. Uh, when R rho goes to infinity, uh, you get real Higgs field, uh, and which can be thought as a mm, point twice. You get family of commuting Hermitian operators. And the spectrum will be, uh, which can be interpreted as kind of multivalued. Uh, you get analog of spectral curves, will be multi uh, uh, real harmonic one form on L. Uh, this limit of, of uh, when representation goes to infinity, you get multi harmonic one form. And this multi harmonic one form will be deformation as a special Lagrangian. Multi is kind of multiple cover of the thing. So the limit of representation will be kind of limits of multi. Uh, coincide with the limit of multiple covers from other side, and the, the whole thing will uh, have no boundary. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's a uh, uh, kind of very, very good picture. And I think I'm not an analyst, so I cannot really judge how hard it is, is it? But it uh, looks to be true. Uh, but now we have kind of two different situations, and mm. Mm. what else can happen? Yeah, in fact, uh, I want to say that there could be a possibility of mixture of these two situations. Uh, just uh, uh, the reason is roughly, uh, roughly the following. In general, Kaufman field theory predicts here that you have a uh, mm. category and stability, but no geometry. Just category and stability. That's uh, that's what's uh, what conform field theory says. And uh, and to have a, a geometric description should go to some limit. And if you go to some limit, you get some target space. But should be not, maybe not the whole target space. Some some part of your uh, theory will be degenerate. Some, some something will be not degenerate. And roughly speaking, you can think uh, like you have a Calabria of manifold Y which is fibered over some Keller manifold of smaller dimension and small f with small fibers. Mm. And then, uh, and, and X is just Keller manifold. You consider such kind of like uh, elliptic vibrations and so on. Like case resurface degenerate to projective line with very small elliptic curves. And if you want to describe what is Foucault category on Y, uh, you can try to see what, is, what, are, stable, uh, what are special Lagrangians then you get some so kind of uh, the following situation. We just exchange. Mm. Kind of mixed situation is the following. Uh, at least some example of it. You get a, let's say, Keller manifold. And then you get constructible shift of triangulated categories. So it means essentially kind of local system of triangulated categories with maybe uh, some jumps. Uh, here you can think about categories CX. You can think about Foucault. Uh, if you get Calabria fibrations, the generic fiber is again Calabria Yau, you can see the Foucault categories of fiber. And because the Keller class doesn't change, you get local system of Foucault categories uh, of fiber. And then, uh, the then each category will have a stability. The X, which maps from K group of this category, just it's a bit funny coincidence, to the fiber of canonical bundle at point x, which will be top degree of cotangent bundle, kind of, uh, point x. Uh, so, so it will be stability values not in complex numbers, but in one dimensional vector space, which actually makes sense. You can multiply stability by constant, so it shouldn't it could be any complex line here. And this should be holomorphically dependent, holomorphically dependent on point. Uh, uh, what happens again in this baby example, you integrate holomorphic volume form along Lagrangian uh, uh, varieties in fiber, get volume for holomorphic volume form on the base, depending on this choice. And uh, stable objects will be the stable objects will be the following. Now we get singular Lagrangian manifolds, uh, which is or now have singularities co dimension one. And in real uh, it's uh, uh, you, you get singular Lagrangian in X, which is union of some kind of L beta. I explain in what sense are special. Yeah, that's really funny. On each L beta, uh, you get a, a, a locally constant family of stable objects in this category. But now, if I apply uh, ZX to BX, you get uh, get holomorphic volume form near LB. Uh, and, and then this thing should be special with slope C with respect to this holomorphic form. With respect to this. So, so argument this thing should be equal to theta. 
Yeah, so you get some bizarre equation. And then in singularity good dimension one, we build something like three branches typically coming to each other. And then you should get here at this point exact triangle in triangulated category, uh, which is main structure. Yeah, so you get this mixed things. And you can imagine that fibers you can describe algebraically using quivers, kind of very simple game. Uh, but, uh, but then you get these things. And in uh, the most, uh, and uh, it looks it's a kind of natural framework to define for high categories, even for this. No, uh, not constant shift of stupid categories of this point to point, but any category, and the whole thing should be lived together. This is a very simple example, which, uh, which, which I finish. Uh, this uh, x will be a complex curve. Uh, and uh, what will be category? Yeah, the category is, uh, uh, you can see something called pre-projective pre pre algebra associate. Uh, with some drinking diagram, uh, you have uh, arrows, uh, some kind of dual arrows, uh, like for the quiver AN. You, you get some arrows and get dual arrows and sum of commutators, but a not complex conjugate will be equal to zero. You get uh, this will be a relation in this algebra. Then you double it to make star to this star equation. Yeah, so you get this category. Mm, the stability is uh, very simple and stable object correspond to the following things. Stability correspond to collection of points in a complex plane and stable objects are possible intervals con connecting this thing. And then one can ma make things together and get what's something called spectral networks. Uh, this uh, mixed special uh, stable object are uh, very beautiful things which are discovered by several people, and uh, also by Gajot and Murnetsky. It's uh, uh, on a complex curve, you consider multi-valued uh, multi uh, holomorphic one form. Uh, it's okay, again, uh, it's called spectral curve, multi-valued holomorphic one form. Mm. It's finitely many values and some ramification. And then you consider kind of uh, Three valent graphs such that for each graph you get two indices, uh, two values of this form, and on this form the argument of alpha i minus alpha j will be equal to theta. And then uh, you get indices i, j, j, k when they meet each other, and you get some kind of three valent graphs uh, uh, associated with multiple. Yeah, because Lagrangian manifold is a graph in two dimension, and then you get some kind of nice condition, some gradient lines, and uh, this graph inside or outside of the surface? And just on, on, the surface. on the surface. Just graph grown on the surface, one can draw a computer program and see how this thinks. And this is a central object in WKB methods one can one can study asymptotic equations, so it's a very beautiful geometric what object. Is They're not geodesic, there's no metric. Uh, it's a, a gradient, if consider a holomorphic one form and consider sh uh, rotate by e angle theta and consider level set of real part. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's beautiful objects. Uh, and this is stable object in some three dimensional Calabria category. Yeah, so there's some kind of high dimensional things we encode in simple uh, language here. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions? Sorry? Why do you call it stability structure? It's not me, it's Bridgeland. I know, but uh, <laughs> why is this name? It's a bit strange name, yes. It's, no, it's called stability even. Stability condition. He called it stability condition, which is even... Stability condition, yeah, I don't know. It's a condition... Uh, yeah, to hold something, some structure condition, I found it's a bit odd, yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's because he took it as a definition then, I thought. Yeah. But it's rather like stability polarization, you say, no? It's like polarization, yeah, it's, it's an analog of polarization, yeah. But it all started with the bundles on curves, stability condition, part of the machine. Yes, yes, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, curve in sense analogous of, analog of quivers, but go to high dimension, it's really hard, yeah. Thank you.
this example related to kitchen system material? Yes, yes, yeah. It's, it's, uh, so these these graphs are the spectral networks are in fact this stable overcrowding of three dimensional Calabio category. Are there more questions? Okay, I think we thank you.